So today we are solving literal equations. Literal equations are equations with more than one variable in them. So when we solve for x, for example, in this equation, 2x plus 8k equals 46, we're not going to be able to figure out what exact value x is because there's a second variable in it. So when we solve for x, what we're going to have to do is get x by itself on one side of the equal sign and put everything else on the other side and our answer for x is going to be a variable expression. Okay, so we'll do a few examples so you can see this in action. Okay, so let's do this. Solve for x. 2x plus 8k equals 46. Now I want to get x by itself. So my first step is I'm going to subtract 8k from this side, the equal sign, so I get x alone. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. And when I do that, the 8k is undo each other, but the 2x drops down, the equals drops down, and I can't subtract k's from 46. So I'm going to keep them separate like this. All right. Now, I've almost got x alone, but it's x times 2, so I need to divide by 2 to undo that. What I do to one side, I have to do to the entire other side. So the 2's undo each other, but the x drops down, the equals drops down, and notice, got x by itself. On the other side, divide everything by 2. 46 divided by 2 is 23, and minus 8k divided by 2 is 4k, and guess what? We just solved for x. This whole thing over here is what x equals, 23 minus 4k. So like what I said before, we're not going to get a single value for x. We're going to get a variable expression because we have another variable that we don't know the value of. Okay? Let's see a slightly harder one here, for example, 2 here. Solve for x. 7 times parentheses x plus 3 minus 4p equals 27. Again, we've got multiple variables in here, so we're not going to get one single value for x. Now, there's lots of ways to solve this. I'm just going to start by doing the distributed property. I've got a lot going on in here. I just want to simplify this thing down. 7 times x is 7x, plus 7 times 3 is 21. Drop down my minus 4p, drop down my equals 27. OK, that makes things a little easier. Now, I want to get x by itself, so we need to undo these things. I'm going to start by adding 4p to both sides. OK, those undo each other. 7x plus 21 drops down, the equals drops down, and I can't combine p's with regular numbers, so I'll keep them separate. I've almost got x by itself, but I do need to undo that plus 21, so I'm going to minus 21 from both sides. And notice, when I minus 20 run from the right side, I put it under the 27, because I can subtract 21 from 27. Okay, So I get 7x equals... This is going to get me 6, and then I'll drop down my plus 4p. Almost done. Now, to get x by itself, I'll divide by 7. What I do to one side, I have to do to the entire other side. And when I do that, x drops down, equals drops down. And notice, I can't really do 6 divided by 7, and I can't do 4 divided by 7. So depending on how your teacher wants you to do this, you could just leave it as 6 plus 4p divided by 7. Or, if your teacher really wants you to divide each of those terms by 7, you could say 6 divided by 7 is 6 sevenths, plus 4p divided by 7 is 4 sevenths p. I don't know that one is more simplified than the other. I personally don't mind this. But if you really want to write it that way, you can. They're equivalent. It's just which one is more simplified? It depends on your preference. All right, but notice, again, we had to get x by itself. We simplified our side, got everything to the right side, and x alone on the left side. And either one of these would be fine for your answer for x. All right, we'll do one more example that's not quite as hard, but a little more confusing. Solve for x. y equals mx plus b, the old standard linear equation. Notice, there are absolutely no numbers in this equation. But it doesn't matter, because we're just going to use algebra to get x by itself. Okay? So if I want x by itself, first thing I need to do is undo the plus b. So I'm going to subtract b from both sides. When I do that, the b's undo each other. The mx drops down. The equals drops down. And I can't subtract y from y and b, so I'm going to keep them separate like that. All right. 
Now, I've almost got x by itself, but it says times m, so I need to divide by m. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. When I do that, m's undo each other, the x drops down, the equals drops down, and I can't do y divided by m, and I can't do b divided by m, so I could leave it as y minus b divided by m, and that's pretty much your answer. And notice, when you solve for x, you get one big variable expression. And that's okay because all we're doing is rearranging things to get x by itself to see what it would equal. All right, so that's solving literal equations. You're basically just using your algebra skills to get to solve an algebra equation and get x by itself on one side of the equal sign. All right, this is why showing your steps in algebra is so important because your final answer is basically your algebra steps all simplified. Okay, so work carefully. Go one step at a time and show each step. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. With that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.